In the dynamic world of theme park entertainment, the older attractions often have a nostalgic appeal. However, not all elements from the past have endured, as some beloved theme park experiences are now prohibited. These once enjoyed attractions, which used to captivate visitors, are now part of history due to safety issues or changes in industry standards. I don't know how many people died at Action Park, but it wasn't just one person. From the heart pounding to the downright peculiar, join us as we delve into 13 old theme park attractions that are now banned. There was a place where, where death was tolerated. Our initial unsettling journey takes us to Action Park in New Jersey, a place known for its adrenaline-pumping experiences. One of its infamous attractions was the Tidal Wave Pool, which, despite its initial allure, gained the eerie nickname The Grave Pool. This aquatic feature was not just an ordinary swim, it involved a daring dive into the unpredictable waters. As the name suggests, the tidal wave pool wasn't your typical water haven. Instead of the usual splashes and laughs, it had a devious agenda, coaxing unsuspecting swimmers into deeper waters. The innocent pursuit of aquatic fun took a sinister turn as thrill-seekers found themselves in a high-stakes gamble between excitement and danger. What happens when you take a bunch of riled up teenagers, a bunch of alcohol, a bunch of dangerous rides, and you put them into a place where there are no wounds? This notorious pool became a stage for heart-stopping incidents. Tales of multiple drownings circulated, creating an air of unease. Yet amidst the shadows, the lifeguards emerged as unsung heroes, racing against time to execute daring rescues and restore a semblance of order to this aquatic chaos. So, the grave pool wasn't just a name, it was a stark reality that unfolded within the watery confines of Action Park. The thrill it promised was accompanied by a chilling touch of peril, creating an unforgettable chapter in the theme park's history. Remember the excitement of Six Flags, Great Adventures Haunted Castle? Curious to know why it's now just a memory? Stay tuned for the twists and turns of its controversial journey. Let's move to New Jersey's Six Flags Great Adventure, where a once spine-chilling attraction, the Haunted Castle, transformed into a nightmarish tragedy. In the haunting year of 1984, this ominous castle, designed to send shivers down spines, erupted in flames, claiming the lives of eight teenagers. The chilling culprit? A design that neglected essential fire safety measures. The Haunted Castle, initially conceived as a place to test the bravest souls, unwittingly became the stage for a real-life horror story. Instead of scripted scares, genuine terror took hold as fire engulfed the ill-fated castle, turning a spooky escapade into a devastating incident that shook the theme park community. Behind the macabre allure of the haunted castle lay a fatal flaw in its design, a lack of adequate fire safety precautions that proved catastrophic. As the flames roared, eight young lives were tragically lost, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of Six Flags' great adventure. In the aftermath of this harrowing event, event, safety regulations and protocols in theme parks across the nation underwent a rigorous re-evaluation. The haunted castle may now be a relic of the past, but its fiery fate reminds us of the paramount importance of stringent safety measures in the realm of amusement parks. Everything here is strictly do-it-yourself. Next, we have the heart-stopping realm of Action Park's Alpine Slide in New Jersey. Imagine a slide that didn't just promise an adrenaline rush, but delivered it with a side of danger. This legendary attraction carved its name into the annals of amusement park history, notorious for its treacherous concrete and fiberglass track. Cement track, it's summertime, people are in bathing suits. And know this, it wasn't just a casual joyride, it was a daring expedition that often left visitors gripping the edges of their seats. The Alpine Slide wasn't your average slippery slope, it was a roller coaster on solid ground, where the stakes were high and the spills were real. Sleds had a mind of their own, careening off the track like rebellious daredevils, turning what was supposed to be a thrilling descent into a wild white-knuckle ride. It wasn't a mere playground for fun, it was a challenging course where every twist and turn could tip the scales from excitement to injury. This daredevil slide wasn't without its share of tales, stories of countless injuries and tragically a fatality. It wasn't just a ride. It was an adventure with consequences. As brave souls lined up for the Alpine slide, they knew they were stepping onto a track where the line between thrill and risk blurred into an unforgettable heart-pounding experience. Ready to explore the mysterious disappearance of rides like the Action Park Cannonball Loop? Buckle up for a roller coaster of tales. I love 
action park because it's so beautiful. Imagine a water slide with a vertical loop that promises an adrenaline rush like no other. That is the Action Park's infamous Cannonball Loop in New Jersey. Unfortunately, the excitement was short-lived, as the attraction faced a swift ban after just one month in operation. What went wrong, you ask? Safety concerns took center stage, and not just your run-of-the-mill worries. The Cannonball Loop garnered attention for its extreme design, featuring a vertical loop that left thrill-seekers wondering if the laws of physics were being put to the ultimate test. Rumors circulated about riders getting stuck midway, defying gravity within the loop's twists and turns. Reports of injuries and discomfort added fuel to the fire, prompting authorities to intervene and shut down the daredevil water slide. Suit for running a reckless and dangerous establishment by one Gregory Knobloch. The decision to ban the cannonball loop underscored the paramount importance of visitor safety. The vertical loop, an engineering marvel on paper, proved to be a real-world hazard. Action Park had to reckon with the repercussions of pushing the boundaries of amusement park design, realizing that the thrill shouldn't come at the cost of well-being. Have you ever caught wind of the spine-tingling saga of Action Park super speedboats right in the middle of New Jersey? Now, imagine this. Zipping speed demons slicing through the waves of a pond, painting an exhilarating masterpiece on the water. It's like a water ballet with these high-speed vessels, promising a spectacle that'll leave you on the edge of your seat. However, this aquatic adventure turned into a perilous escapade, resulting in a ban after hazardous situations, including at least one dramatic rescue. In this adrenaline-charged aquatic realm, the super speedboats became both the protagonists and the source of unexpected drama. The beautiful pond, unfortunately, was not just a canvas for high-speed excitement. It was also home to an uninvited cast of slithering residents, snakes. As the boats navigated the twists and turns, the potential for perilous encounters with these reptilian inhabitants became a palpable threat. The situation reached a critical point when, amidst the high-speed thrills, a daring adventurer found themselves in need of rescue. The collision of heart-pounding excitement and the inherent dangers of a snake-infested pond raised alarm bells. Authorities swiftly intervened, declaring a ban on the super speedboats. Now isn't that a wild ride that went from thrilling to chilling in the blink of an eye? But hold on as the intrigue is just starting to unfold. Race like a pro! It's great! These are the most amazing rides in the world. I love it. These miniature race cars may sound innocent, but they were the rebels of the theme park world. Despite their small size, they boasted impressive speed. The catch? Someone decided to play with the speed governors, turning innocent joy rides into wild high-speed escapades. It was like a mini Grand Prix with a side of danger. As you can imagine, the authorities weren't too thrilled about it. The Lola cars became infamous for their unpredictability, and the adrenaline junkies who tampered with them. The thrill-seekers got more than they bargained for, and so did the unsuspecting riders. Imagine zooming around in a cute little car only to find yourself in a high-speed chase. Not exactly the family-friendly adventure most were expecting. So why the ban? Well, safety concerns took center stage. The tinkering with speed controls turned what should have been a leisurely drive into a risky game of speed demons. The park couldn't ignore the potential for accidents and injuries, leading to the eventual ban on these mini speedsters. The Lola cars might be a thing of the past, but the memories of their daring escapades live on. It's a cautionary tale of how even the smallest attractions can take an unexpected turn, leaving us with stories that make us laugh and cringe at the wild side of theme park history. Just go to Action Park, there's no other park like it. Take a nostalgic trip to Action Park in New Jersey, where the Super Go-Karts once ruled the track. Designed for speed demons, visitors could tinker with the settings to amp up the excitement. Sounds like a blast, right? Well, not quite. These modified speed demons led to more than just a hair-raising ride. They resulted in high-speed crashes that sent adrenaline levels through the roof. Imagine zipping around the track at breakneck speeds, only to realize that some thrill-seekers cranked up the intensity a bit too much. The consequence? A ban on these souped-up super go-karts. The thrill of speed turned into a headache for park management, as the high-octane modifications resulted in accidents and injuries. With visitors seeking the ultimate rush, the park had to hit the brakes on this attraction to ensure everyone's well-being. The super go-karts became a thing of the past, a cautionary tale in the colorful history of theme park attractions. Have you ever been captivated by the charm of Action Park's tank ride? Have you ever wondered why this classic spinning ride has become a thing of the past? Get ready for a nostalgic trip down memory lane.
Step right up to another chapter in the theme park Thrill Saga Action Park's tank ride in New Jersey. Picture this unique attraction, small tanks equipped with tennis ball cannons for an interactive and playful experience. It all seemed like harmless fun until the risks became a bit too real. The tank ride allowed visitors to engage in a friendly battle of sorts, firing tennis balls at each other from the comfort of their pint-sized tanks. A whimsical idea, right? But, as you can imagine, the playfulness came with its own set of challenges. The ban on the tank ride wasn't just a random decision. The tennis ball cannons posed risks not only to riders, but also to the hard-working employees. Imagine navigating a mini-tank battlefield with flying tennis balls, a scenario that raised safety concerns. The potential for injuries, both to park visitors and staff, prompted Action Park to halt this unconventional attraction. While the tank ride may have brought joy to many, the ban aimed to ensure that the theme park experience remained a thrill without compromising safety. Now let's unravel another chapter in the thrilling saga of theme park bans, this time featuring Coney Island's Thunderbolt roller coaster in New York. Once a star of the amusement scene, this roller coaster had its heyday but eventually met its demise, all due to one notorious reputation. It's rough ride. Imagine the excitement as riders climbed aboard the Thunderbolt, ready for a heart-pounding journey through twists and turns. However, this coaster earned a different kind of notoriety. Its rough-and-tumble ride left thrill-seekers shaking, not from excitement but from the jolts and jitters that turned the experience into more of a challenge than a thrill. Why the closure? Safety took the spotlight once again. The Thunderbolt's turbulent twists and turns became a cause for concern, as reports of discomfort and even minor injuries started to pile up. The management, prioritizing the well-being of their guests, made the difficult decision to close the Thunderbolt for good. So, it wasn't a lack of thrills that sealed the fate of this iconic coaster. It was the quest for a balance between excitement and safety. The Thunderbolt roller coaster is now a memory etched in the history of Coney Island. Remember Disneyland's iconic flying saucers in California? Those whimsical attractions that once captured the imaginations of thrill-seekers? Stay tuned to find out why they're now banned from the theme park scene. Take a stroll down memory lane and explore why these airborne delights are no longer part of the magical experience. Back in the day, Disneyland's flying saucers were all the rage, offering visitors a chance to defy gravity and hover above the ground. Picture yourself gliding effortlessly in a saucer, experiencing a sensation of weightlessness that added an extra dash of enchantment to the park's allure. But all good things must come to an end. The flying saucers faced a series of challenges that ultimately led to their banishment. Frequent breakdowns became the bane of these fantastical rides, causing disappointment among eager riders and headaches for the park's maintenance crew. Behind the scenes, operational costs skyrocketed as the park struggled to keep the flying saucers airborne. The complex technology required for these gravity-defying wonders proved too expensive to maintain, putting a strain on Disneyland's budget. As much as we'd love to reminisce about the joy rides in the sky, Disneyland had to bid farewell to the flying saucers due to practical constraints. Despite the nostalgic size, it was a necessary decision to ensure the park's sustainability and the safety of its visitors. Next, let's dive into the tale of Astro World Texas Cyclone, a roller coaster that once dominated the Texan theme park scene but now stands only in the memories of its daring riders. The story behind its closure and demolition unveils a roller coaster ride of challenges, from a rough and tumble experience to dwindling popularity. Picture the Texas Cyclone, a colossal coaster that once sent thrill seekers on a heart pounding journey through twists and turns. Its reputation for delivering an exhilarating, if not somewhat bumpy, ride added to the park's allure. Yet, as time marched on, the Texas Cyclone faced its fair share of hurdles. One of the major factors leading to its closure was the coaster's rough ride. While some sought the adrenaline rush that came with the unpredictability of the Texas Cyclone, many visitors began to find the experience too jarring. The once thriving coaster found itself at odds with evolving preferences and demands for smoother, more comfortable rides. Maintenance issues further fueled the decision to bid farewell to the Texas Cyclone. 
The wear and tear of years of exhilarating loops and gravity-defying drops took a toll on the coaster's structure. Astro World's maintenance crew faced an uphill battle to keep the Texas Cyclone in top-notch condition, leading to increased operational challenges and costs. As if that weren't enough, the coaster's popularity began to wane. Newer, more innovative attractions emerged, capturing the attention of visitors and relegating the Texas Cyclone to the shadows. Facing declining attendance, Astro World made the tough decision to close and ultimately demolish the once iconic coaster. Some idea what a Texas Cyclone will be like. The Texas Cyclone may be a thing of the past, but its legacy lives on in the stories of those who braved its twists and turns during its prime. But wait, can we really conclude without mentioning Action Park's bumper boats? The infamous bumper boats at New Jersey's Action Park, a thrilling aquatic escapade turned cautionary tale. Picture this aquatic adventure, bumper boats zipping and crashing through the waters, creating a splash of excitement. However, behind the scenes lurked a perfect storm of steering challenges and a rather alarming fuel leak. Steering those boats was no easy feat. Navigating the choppy waters became a wild challenge, turning what should have been a lighthearted bumping experience into a test of maritime skill. The difficulty in steering quickly escalated from a quirky challenge to a safety concern as riders found themselves careening unpredictably across the water. But wait, there's more. The bumper boats had a more sinister side. They leaked gasoline. Yes, you read that right. A seemingly innocent water ride turned into a potential hazard with the pungent scent of gasoline lingering in the air. The consequences? Injuries and skin irritation among the unsuspecting riders who were just looking for a refreshing splash. Why did the hammer fall on the bumper boats? It wasn't just about the challenge of steering or the unfortunate gasoline leak, it was the undeniable toll on visitor safety. The unpredictable navigation turned the waters into a chaotic battleground, and the gasoline leaks posed a serious health risk. The combination of these factors prompted the banning of the once popular attraction. So what's the morale of this aquatic tale? Even the most buoyant fun can sink if not properly navigated. Action Park's bumper boats, once a symbol of aquatic amusement, now serve as a reminder that safety should always come first, and a day of watery fun should never end with injuries and irritated skin. Turn the clock back to the thrilling era of roller coasters, where Busch Gardens Python in Florida stood as a pioneer among corkscrew adventures. However, this iconic ride met its untimely demise, not due to a lack of excitement, but rather due to the changing tides of design evolution. Beautiful Busch Gardens Tampa, a delightfully different kind of family entertainment. Imagine the excitement as the python twisted and turned, taking riders on a heart-pounding journey with its innovative corkscrew maneuvers. It was one of the first of its kind, setting the stage for a new era of roller coasters. Yet as time progressed, so did the expectations for safety and modern engineering. The Python, once heralded as a roller coaster marvel, found itself in a battle against obsolescence. Its design, though revolutionary in its heyday, became outdated compared to the more advanced coasters emerging on the theme park scene. Safety regulations evolved, and the Python struggled to keep up. With a heavy heart, Bush Gardens made the difficult decision to dismantle the Python, marking the end of an era. The once thriving coaster, with its signature corkscrews, loops, and dives, succumbed to the relentless march of progress. But why bid farewell to this iconic coaster? The Python's banishment from the realm of roller coasters wasn't due to unruly behavior or safety mishaps. Instead, it fell victim to the relentless march of technological innovation. The outdated design, though a trailblazer in its time, couldn't compete with the sleeker, more sophisticated rides capturing the imaginations of thrill-seekers.